Thank you for joining me today to introduce a new tutorial for allfreeknitting.com and how to knit in the round with circular needles. You will need one circular needle, needle, whatever size needle and length of cable you'll need, your yarn, and a stitch marker. And I will tell you more about a stitch marker later on in the video. All right. so. In this video, I am using size six needle, size eight needles that are bamboo with a 16 inch um, string. As you can see here, I put some uh, about 40 stitches on and they're really not long enough to complete the round. So there's not enough stitches on the round right now to actually fully complete it. So make sure when you're using round needles, the, the length of the length of the wire is long enough. Now, all right, I put 80 stitches on the on the needles so this should be enough to go in a round and to be able to connect it so when you're connecting the round you want to make sure that the needles will connect that the yarn on the needles will connect in the round together so the two ends meet so now with the stitch marker which is relatively small and will fit on most size needles because they bend it's plastic and see here I have it on my right hand needle which has the end of what I cast it on and taking the yarn from the ball, you're going to put it, you're going to, and this I'm just using plain knit stitch, um, in a regular knit stitch, put on the first uh, uh, stitch you cast it on, and just do a regular knit stitch, and this is going to connect the two ends together. And the stitch marker is going to mark where you put that first stitch in. And so you're just going to continue as you would knitting on the round, knitting um, in a regular pattern and just and this will connect it and I will go um, do a full round again and show you how when you come back to where the stitch marker is how you're going to continue just to transfer that back onto the right needle so that it's still a continuous circle as you're connecting it and continue connecting it throughout your pattern. Now see here, I've, I'm just about six, seven stitches away from the stitch marker, and I'm going to continue knitting and show you that as you're going around, you're going to be pulling or pushing the stitch marker with the yarn at the, from where you start at the very beginning of the yarn. Now this is going to mark for you how many rounds you've gone around as well. There's other stitch markers that will do that, that you can have a counter be your stitch marker. So when you get to the stitch marker point and you have a counter on it, you can just pull, um, twist it and it'll show you the next counter. Now, what you're simply going to do, you're just going to transfer the stitch marker like you would transfer a stitch. And as you see, it, the, stitch mark, the stitches are connected and it's going to continue with the round as you're doing the stitch. Um, so as, as you see, like when you're u doing knitting it around with circular needles, it's not very difficult. You just need to make sure that you are keeping track of your stitch marker. And as you see, I've now gone halfway around. The stitch marker is right there. It's been about the center. Make sure when you're doing the stitch, when you're knitting on around, that you're keeping your uh, yarn. You're not letting your yarn get twisted. Now, as you can, I'm coming to my second pass on the stitch marker, and. As you see, like it's just coming along. It works very easily. It's not very difficult to use um, your to knit in the round, but you just need to make sure that you have a stitch marker because it's going to help you keep track of how many times you've gone around and where your beginning and ending of the stitch was. Well, thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. Please make sure you check out more of the tutorials at www.allfreeknitting.com. And thank you.